Hemoglobin is a protein found in blood, responsible for transporting oxygen from the lungs to the various tissues around the body. Each hemoglobin molecule, represented as Hb, is comprised of four heme groups, which contain an iron atom which reversibly binds oxygen to hemoglobin. Seen in the equation, each heme group enables the transport of one oxygen molecule, therefore being able to transport a total of four oxygen molecules. Once hemoglobin takes on oxygen, it becomes oxyhemoglobin and is bright red in colour. In contrast, deoxyhemoglobin is a more purple-blue colour. The exothermic chemical reaction of hemoglobin and oxygen is reversible, meaning that the process can repeat itself over and over again. Once the hemoglobin becomes oxygenated in the lungs, it is then pumped around the body by the heart. The oxyhemoglobin then breaks down into its two separate elements again, so that the muscles and tissues can absorb the oxygen for cell function. Deoxyhemoglobin then travels back to the lungs to remove carbon dioxide waste. This process repeats itself, providing the body with a continuous source of oxygen. In 1840, hemoglobin was accidentally discovered by F. L. Hunefeld through samples of earthworm blood held under two glass slides. It was later given its name by Hopp Seiler in 1864, and around 1870, Claude Bernard discovered hemoglobin's role as a carrier for oxygen. It won't be until 1962, when Nobel Prize winner Perut Zatal discovered the three-dimensional structure of hemoglobin through X-ray crystallography. The hemoglobin molecule can reversibly bind up to four molecules of oxygen, with each bond increasing the tendency for other oxygen molecules to bind to the heme groups. This is known as the oxygen affinity, and many factors such as temperature, pressure, and carbon dioxide concentration can shift the equilibrium of this reaction, shown in a hemoglobin-oxygen dissociation graph. When we exercise, our cells and tissues work harder, requiring a high supply of oxygen. Our body temperature rises from the increased kinetic energy which, according to Le Chatelier's principle, shifts the hemoglobin oxygen dissociation graph to the right and the reaction to the left, therefore reducing the affinity of oxygen as the presence of reactants increases. Therefore, the equilibrium constant in terms of temperature is represented through a normal body temperature of around 36.7 degrees Celsius. With an increase in temperature and therefore a change in the reaction quotient, it lowers the oxygen's ability to bind to hemoglobin due to the high demands of the working cells and tissues. Through our understanding of how temperature affects the oxygenation of our body, we can be better informed about the effects of exercise and what to expect when we undergo physical stress. As altitude increases, the less dense the air becomes. A change in air pressure also changes the concentration of oxygen, becoming potentially hazardous for human life. As pressure decreases, Le Chatelier's principle causes the hemoglobin oxygen dissociation graph to shift to the right and the reaction to the left, again reducing the affinity of oxygen as the presence of reactants increases. The equilibrium constant in terms of pressure is represented through normal air pressure of around 101 kilopascals, with any changes to the reaction quotient affecting oxygen's ability to bind with hemoglobin. Knowing the effects of pressure on the hemoglobin and oxygen reaction is extremely important for the welfare of people on commercial flights. If the cabin loses pressure in an emergency, oxygen masks provide oxygen to the passengers in an environment that would have very little of it. After hemoglobin delivers oxygen to the cells and tissues, it then picks up carbon dioxide, a byproduct of cellular metabolism which inhibits oxygen from binding to the hemoglobin until it is respired at the lungs. The equilibrium constant in reference to carbon dioxide concentration is achieved through the average respiration rate of 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Any change of breathing rate outside of this range is a change in the reaction quotient. As concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood increases, the Chatelier's principle causes the hemoglobin oxygen dissociation graph to shift to the right and the reaction to the left, again reducing the affinity of oxygen as the presence of reactants increases. Understanding how carbon dioxide concentration affects the oxygenation of our body helps us find solutions to health problems such as hypoxia, an absence of oxygen in the tissues to sustain bodily functions. In victims of drownings, the life-saving procedure of CPR introduces oxygen back into the body, preventing the fatal buildup of carbon dioxide gas. A continuous development of knowledge into the complex nature of the human body opens opportunities to find better ways to improve the life of individuals through understanding the factors such as temperature, pressure and carbon dioxide concentration on the equilibrium reaction between hemoglobin and oxygen.